Hi, and welcome back to my channel, um, LW Pharmacy School, serving you through education. This video is being brought to you tonight or today or tomorrow or wherever you are, whatever time it is in your area. Um, by LW Pharmacy School, we are committed to you all. We're your number one PT, CV, and EXE PT tutor. There is on YouTube. We are the best, and we can claim that because we have had over 55 people uh, since August to pass the PTCB as well as um, the EXE PT combined since August. Um, and so we're very proud of that. People all over the country, all over the world are watching us. And so we say hi to you wherever you may be, whether it's night, morning, afternoon, evening. Hello and much love to you. If this channel has helped you, please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications and give our videos a thumbs up. If you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one session with Lindsay, you can 903-295-5933, extension 101. My name is Lindsay, L-I-N-D-S-E-Y. One of my friends call me Nisi. Wow, that is a pretty name, um, but my name is Lindsay. And so again, that's L-I-N-D-S-E-Y for those of you who are new to this channel and may not know me. I do appreciate you following and being a part of uh, our channel. And we're excited to be a part of your journey. Um, tonight, I'm gonna give you a couple of nuggets. It's not gonna be a very long video. Um, I know I say that all the time, but honestly, it's not gonna be long at all. I'm actually getting ready to board a plane. And so I wanted to do this before I got ready, okay? Um, or before I left. Uh, concentrations in dilution. Medications are diluted for four reasons. The first one is to administer to a child. The second one is for infants. The third one is elderly. And then the fourth one is accurate measurement, okay? Terms to remember, you'll see two terms here. One describes concentration, the other describes dilution, okay? Typically, dilution um, happens when an inactive ingredient or a diluent is added to a concentrate. So when you think about concentrate, let's think about, um, I don't know if you guys ever seen this in the past, um, those frozen, like they they come in like a frozen can and they're normally in the frozen sections and they sell apple juice, orange juice. Um, you'll see it like over by the ice cream in the grocery store and it'll say 100% um, concentrate, you need to add water to it. Um, that's the old juice from a long time ago. So if you're a newbie, you might not remember it, but some of you people who are, um, who are a little bit more seasoned like myself may remember that. But I think about that when I think about this because you needed to add water because it was so sweet. So just think about, you know, um, a, a concentrate being something very thick um, and it's diluted, you know, with some type of, um, ingredient and then the next one or the first one is concentrate i know i'm kind of saying a little backwards uh is a highly condensed drug product that is diluted prior to administration you'll see the young lady over here in the hood um compounding and preparing for her um for the medication example number one are you ready De dexamethasone dexamethasone okay let's stop right there now, if you've been following me for a minute, and if you have been allowing me to be a part of your journey, you know that I teach worse stem. So when you see dexamethasone, S-O-N-E, it's, it's, it's ending in S-O-N-E. What kind of drug is that? Don't worry, I'll wait. And I see you over there trying to look it up and trying to figure out what category is this? Dexamethasone. What category does this drug fit in? Looking at the word stem, would you say antibiotic? Would you say steroid? Would you say anti-anxiety or anti-diabetic medication? If you say steroid, then you are correct. Yes. Come on now. Thank you for watching. And look at you making me feel like I'm doing something. Hey, if this channel is helping you, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Dexamethasone is definitely a steroid and it ends in S-O-N-E, so we know that it's a steroid because S-O-N-E is the stem word for steroids. You can thank me later. Uh, dexamethasone is available as a four milligram per ml preparation. Remember I told you when you see that ml and you don't see a number in front of it, you automatically assume that that number is one. An infant is to receive 0.35 milligrams. Prepare a dilution so that 
the final concentration is one milligram per ml. How much diluent will you need if the original product is in a one ml vial and you dilute the entire vial? Well, we got it over here to the right. Look at the, um, you'll see the actual um, prescription label here. And we are solving for it. Okay. You're also seeing this prescription label, it tells you how to store it. That's another thing I want you to remember. If you're not remembering like temperatures, refrigerating, warm temperatures, cool temperature, in both Celsius and Fahrenheit, add that to your study list because that's something you want to remember. And maybe, you know, in my next video, I can kind of jot that, uh, put that on the slide so that way you can remember that because those are important. Uh, the first thing that I wanted to do is to show you that you put the diluted solution to the left, okay? And then the desired concentration to the right. That's how I did it. Um, I have XML that came from here over the top, four milligrams here, okay? And then it says that we are to prepare a dilution uh, so that the final concentration is one milligram over one ml. So I always line my milligrams side by side and my ml side by side. Um, even though the one milligram comes first, I flipped it around because I already had emails at the top. But if you wanted to flip it around, it's up to you as well. I really don't care what method you use as long as you get to the right answer. Is that fair enough? I think it is. Okay. Um, so anywho, we did not need the 0 0.35. Um, that was extra information. Okay. So all we needed was this first ratio and this second ratio. Yep, don't get confused. Um, and then um, we are going to go ahead and crisscross here and divide. We get XML equals four. Four MLs minus one ML equals three ML. So there was actually a two part to this, okay? So the first part was to find out what is the final product, okay? So we did that because we were trying to find the final concentration, right? And then we needed to find out how much diluent will we need if the original product is a one ml vial. And so in order to find out that, um, how much diluent we would need, we needed to take the answer from the first part, which is four ml, and subtract it from the one ml, which is actually here, um, right here in the vial, okay? So we had the four ML, we got that from this answer, crisscross multiply. This is a ratio, it doesn't really look like it because I didn't put the lines here, but it actually is a ratio. We did four milligrams times one ML divided by four gave us four. And then, so they, came, they gave us the final product and then we did the four MLs minus one ML, which it gave us the three ML deal you, okay? There's two parts here. Don't worry, I have a couple of more examples to show you if that didn't really make sense, okay? Um, if this video is helping you, please give us a thumbs up. Concentration example number two. You are instructed to make 240 ml of a 0 0.45 weight over volume solution. You have a 100 weight over volume concentrate in stock. How much of the concentrate will you use and how much of the diluent will be needed? Now look, that's a two part answer. Or question. Sorry, two part question. First time, the first thing we need to find out is how much concentrate will we use? That's part A. Part B or part two is going to be how much diluent will be needed, right? Uh, and so what we did, again, we're ratio and proportion. Same thing, nothing has changed. Same thing, okay? We're not new to this, we're true to this, right? Um, we have X grams over 240, because that's what we need, equals 0 0.45 grams, got that from here, over 100 ml, right? 100%, okay? But remember, you were taught your, uh, when it comes to weight over volume, you were taught your formula. So even though you see that 100% there, it doesn't necessarily come from there. You were taught your formula in the video that we did last week, which is called 
um, I forget the name of the video, oh my God, but it's the one with the orange um, thumbnail. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it and then come to this one. I'm also Don't worry, okay? You know more than you're giving yourself credit for. Reach deep down into your pocket and begin to pull out the wisdom, the knowledge, and the experience that your life has